Hi, my name is Tad Armbruster here at Chemical Consultants. I'm the product manager here and here in California we're in a drought and I'm going to show you a way to save water. Let's get to it. Today we're going to use this five gallon bucket under this washout booth to collect the water from doing a screen development the old way with a hose. Then I'm going to show you how much water you use using a dip tank that's going to be a water saving way. So we're going to take a screen that's been coated and that's been drying. We're going to take it and we're going to expose it. Right now, just normal, just standard film, our logo. Close the exposure unit and start the exposure. We're going to use a hose to develop the screen, which is a standard method that's used in the industry today. So I was fairly conservative in how much water I used. Let's see how much that was. You see here, is a little over two gallons, almost two and a half. Normal screen development for this dual cure, that would be close to normal. But if you had a water resist stencil, you're probably double as much rinse because uh, it's a harder stencil to develop. A thicker photopolymer is gonna be about the same. So you could go anywhere from two and a half gallons to maybe almost close to five gallons per screen in developing. One of the things that you can save with the dip tank is you can save time. One of the ways to do that is after you put the screen into the dip tank, you can go back and make another shot and expose another screen instead of standing in the sink developing the screen that you just shot. By using the dip tank, it frees up time and labor. So let's take a look at what we just washed. This is about three quarters of a gallon versus almost two and a half. Now the savings per each screen, that's about two gallons consistently. For dual cure, which this is, it's going to be much easier to develop a dual cure than a water resist or a thick photopolymer. We're gonna use more water. I'll do some calculations for you at this rate and you can see how much water you're wasting without using a dip tank. A screen shop using 10 screens a day can save about 4,000 gallons a year. That's considerable, and we would like you to take a look at using a dip tank because you can save water and you can save time. Thank you and have a good day.